G'day sports fans, it's Fenner 100 here, welcome to Pokemon Unite! Pokemon Unite is a game that just came out on Nintendo Switch on the 21st of July. Today is the 26th of July, uh, 2021, when I'm recording this. But on the 21st of July, this game came out. It is free to play, so if you're a Pokemon fan, you definitely want to give this a go. If you're a person that's a fan of MOBA games, or Multiplayer Online Battle Arena, that's what MOBA is short for, most people just call them MOBAs. So if you're wondering what a MOBA game is, think of things like your League of Legends, your Smite, your Heroes of the Storm, your Dota 2. Games where you choose a character, you have abilities, your character levels up as you play, you and you join a team of uh, four other peoples, you make a team of five, you go onto a map versus another team, so two teams of five, and uh, you usually have like um, lanes joining both uh, teams main base and that sort of thing in this game there's two lanes and then a jungle area in the middle um, you defeat Pokemon you level up use items to make your Pokemon stronger and then as you defeat Pokemon you gain Aeon energy uh, which is like this you capture your enemy Pokemon in little Pokeballs creates Aeon energy your enemy team and you have special goals like hoops and you deposit the energy in there to score Game goes for 10 minutes, at the end of the 10 minutes, the person with the highest amount of points wins. That's the most basic way I can explain the game. Um, the current Pokemon roster is already pretty decent. They're going to be adding more, obviously, as we go. So, so far in the game, you have access... So, Pokemon that evolve, like Venusaur, they start off small. So, if you pick Venusaur, you start off as Bulbasaur, you level up, turn to Ivysaur, level up again, turn to Venusaur, and so forth. So, some of the Pokemon evolve during the game, so it makes it really dynamic. So, so far in the game, we have Venusaur, we have Charizard, Pikachu, Alolan Ninetales, Slowbro, which is my personal favorite, he's a tank. <laughs> we have Snorlax, Talonflame, Zerora, Z Zor Zorora, I, I can never pronounce this Pokemon's name right, it actually annoys me. Eldegoss, Wigglytuff, Gengar, Lucario, Machamp, Mr. Mime, Absol, Garchomp, Crustle, Greninja, Cinderace, and Cramorant. They are the current Pokemon they're in here. Um, I know they're adding Blastoise to the game, I can't remember the second Pokemon, there's two that are coming soon, uh, and when you log into the game, um, if you log into the game within, I think, by next month, you get giving you get given this Pokemon for free. Um, when you when you go through the tutorial, you get to pick any game character Pokemon from here, and you own them, other ones you use currency or real money to slowly buy, and then any Pokemon that have this little symbol that looks like a, uh, like a clock on the top left hand corner of the portrait, uh, they are in rotation. So, uh, when the game came out on Wednesday, there was four Pokemon on rotation, and today it's changed, so I don't know if it's weekly or less than that, but four Pokemon on rotation, which means they're free, so you can play them while they're there, give them a go, that sort of thing. Each Pokemon has uh, access to their own attacks. If we look at Slowbro, who we'll try and play today, uh, he starts off with uh, Water Gun and Slack Off, he slowly learns them, and then as he levels up, you can choose to upgrade Water Gun into either Scold or Surf, and slack off into either Amnesia or Telekinesis. Each Pokemon works this way, so you eventually upgrade and change your attacks. You'll have two attacks, your Unite attack, which is basically your ultimate, which stays the same, and each Pokemon has basic attacks and uh, a passive. So Slowbro's passive uh, is Oblivious. So when he receives damage, the HP loss is gradual. When damaging an opposing Pokemon with a move, the Pokemon nullifies some of this pending damage before it takes effect, and it also decreases the, Pokemon, the opposing Pokemon's special defense for a short time. So basically, any damage that Slowbro takes is staggered over time, which makes him really tanky, and uh, I've never actually had a Slowpoke or a Slowbro in the Pokemon games. Gotta be honest, never had one. I kinda do now, because I've been playing Slowbro, and this game is really tanky, he's really cool. So, yeah, I really like him. Uh, Ninetale, Aloha Nine Ninetales is really cool. Pikachu is really fast. Um, you've got different categories as well. So you've got Defender, who's like your tank. You've got Speedster, which is basically, like, usually they're a ranged attack character that uh, has, like, as you can see by the stats here, low endurance, so low health, but, like, really good offense and mobility. Um, then you have attackers like Pikachu and Ninetales that are basically, they're like Speedsters, but they have better, slightly better endurance and not as high speed, but more high damage. And then characters like Charizard are all-rounders, so they do a bit, a bit of anything. They can be ranged or melee fighters, and their stats are pretty balanced. And then I just recently got Eldegoss, one of three Pokemon that is a supporter. So supporters could do things like give buffs, give shields, and Eldegoss's uh, case, give healing. So there's a lot of variety so far, and considering that there's, what, 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 I mean, like nine gens of Pokemon, there's a lot of Pokemon in this game. So they can add whoever they want. So the possibilities of the roster in this game are endless. It's really exciting. That's why it's also to jump into because it's a really casual moment. It's not overly complicated. The most complicated thing you have to worry about as you play 
You'll, you'll get access to held items, right? These are just like from the Pokemon games themselves. So, for example, my current build is using Leftovers, Scope Lens, and Rocky Helmet. So, when you get these items, they give you bonuses. So, we'll take a look at Leftovers here. When this Pokemon is not in combat, it recovers 1.5% of its max HP every second. And then the base stat increase it gives, it gives plus 80 HP and then plus 3 HP recovery. And the other items give other stats too. Critical hit rate, critical damage, and HP and defense. So when you get one of these, they're at level 10. You spend the currency that's at the top right hand corner of the screen there. You slowly earn that as you level up and play games. And you can use that to upgrade these up to level 20. And each time you upgrade them, um, the, you know, the stat increases and everything they provide improves. And when you get to level 10, it's like a major increase. And then 20, another one. So they're like your, your main stop. So if you're going to upgrade, it's probably a good idea if you can to save up your currency. Upgrade straight to level 10 and then 20 from there. That's what I'm doing. Uh, there's quite a few held items. I've unlocked quite a few here, but there's a lot more. As you can see, these are all ones that are locked. So Assault Fest, Special Attack Specs, Attack Weight, all two different things. Um, initially, sorry, I left that by accident. Initially, you uh, will only be able to equip one of three, but as you level up, when you as you level up your profile, when you get to level 10, you'll be able to equip all three with your trainer level, because you have a trainer, you can cust fully customize your trainer, make a card for them, so you can also earn cosmetics and stuff to change what your trainer looks like, uh, which is in the, the closet option here. So you can completely customize your trainer here as well. Your trainer is only like here on this screen, not in game obviously, but it's still cool as an option. Uh, and then the other part of battle prep that I forgot to mention was you also have battle items. So just literally upgrade these. So this is an item that you always have, separate from the three that passively help your Pokemon. And these are locked to the Y button on your controller. And uh, you can, so some of these haven't got. So like, for example, you get Potion, 30 second cooldown, restores Pokemon's HP. Then you can get X Attack for racing, raising attack, X Speed for speed. So you can equip one of these uh, depending on your playstyle. I usually just use Potion because I like the health buff, but um, some of these, like Eject Button, is really good for getting out of trouble. Same with X Speed. So it all depends on your playstyle and uh, what Pokemon you're playing. And there's lots of different currencies, lots of things you can earn. There's a Battle Pass, it's really cheap. And if you get that, you can unlock currencies and items for your trainer and uh, stuff like this is almost sounding like a review right now but I'm, I'm trying to go over everything to give you an idea of what this game's like because I think if I explain it well enough if you want to see more content for this game on the channel you'll have an idea what it's about and not be so confused right away because I haven't covered a aside from Smite I haven't really covered much MOBA on this channel for a while and this is a lot more straightforward than things like Smite and League so yeah, I figured I'd give, make this a semi-review video by just going over it. I'm not going to score or anything like that. I'm just basically telling you what the game's about, what it's like, how long it's been out. Um, so it's on Switch now. It's going to be out on phones, on mobile as well. Uh, I think in another month or two. So that's we still got to wait for that. But it's going to be cross-play. So if you don't have a Switch, you can wait for it to come out on phones. And we'll all be playing together. So you won't have to worry about some more player base or anything like that. Uh, it's also cross-save. So if you have a Switch and a phone, you can play it on both if you want to, depending if you don't take your Switch with you from the house, and you can play it on your phone while you're out and about. All that stuff. So, the other cool thing about this game that I love is the queue times are ridiculously fast. So we're going to queue up for a basic 5v5 game, hopefully get slow bro, because he's kind of my main at the moment, and uh, we'll show you we'll show you a 10 minute game, because that's how long they go for. And uh, as we play, I'll explain a little bit more about what's going on, as best I can. So, uh, I hopefully you guys decide to give this game a go from this video. That'd be pretty cool. That's kind of my intention. <laughs> Get everyone to try this, because it's really fun. So, we're going to off of some games immediately. Straight away. So, you hit the ready button. Now we're ready. So, we're waiting for everyone else to accept and ready up. That's our two teams. Just like that. Now, here's our roster here. So, if we are allowed... No, okay, that person's taken my slow bro. That's unfortunate, but that's okay. Um, who are we going to play then? I'm trying to decide who I feel like playing. You know what? I know it'll get the clicks anyway. I'm going to play an all-rounder. I'm going to play Charizard, right? So then you can hit the button here and go into your items. So I'm going to equip a potion. Um, got leftover shell bell and float stone here. <clears throat> I'm thinking of actually using... Because I just recently upgraded the rocky helmet. I might actually... Okay, we won't worry about movement speed. We'll swap out this as well and we'll go um, scope lens. So we're going to go for health recovery. Uh, rocky helmet does damage to the attacker and scope lens for critical hit damage. Then we can tell everyone where we're going to go. So the game is recommending we go the bottom path. So we're going to go bottom path, communicate with everyone. You can also communicate with people here like this. So I usually just go like, let's give it a roll, be all positive, you know, have a bit of fun with it. 
So, I forgot to mention what the friendly team is using. We can go over that now. <laughs> load times this game are pretty good. Which is, so I'm like, I was pretty pleased with that. Because some MOBAs take a while to load in. So, on our side, we have Talonflame, Slowbro, Venusaur, Snorlax, and myself as Charizard. So, that's a pretty all-rounded team. Slowbro and Snorlax are their tanks. Venusaur is a, uh, more of an attacker. And Talonflame is a speedster. So, pretty good balance. Enemy team has a Garchomp, Cramorant, Zorora, Lucario, and Pikachu. Also very well-rounded. The Garchomp does a lot of damage to those Pikachu's. So they got a lot of Anzarora. They got a high damage team. So hopefully Snorlax and Slowbro can draw a lot of attention because Talonflame and me in particular will uh, get killed really quickly by those people. Especially Garchomp. He's scary, especially if he's in the jungle, uh, which is probably where he's going to be going. All right, so we're on the left-hand side as usual. Whenever you play, you're always on the left-hand side from your perspective. So we're going to go down the bottom path. So there's two paths. Pokemon are here, so like there's Apom here, and there's a number above their heads. So if I defeat this Apom, he had a two. So it gives me two Aeon Energy, which you can see down the bottom near where my abilities are. And um, what this does is these are the points that I need to score, right? So as you level up, the amount of points you can hold at once increases. I don't remember the cap. I think when I'm only low level, I think the cap is like 10, and it slowly goes up. And then as you gain levels, you slowly unlock your attacks. So now I have Fire Spin. And flame burst here, mapped to my trigger button and my shoulder button on the right hand side. So just gonna kill the A-Poms here, get some experience and level up, and also just gather some points. So these are our goal zones here, these hoops. Um, while you're standing in those, you get passive health regeneration and a slight shield. So if the enemy is pushing and they want to score, if you stay in there, you can usually defend pretty well. There's the enemy camera out there, uh, trying to defeat, I forget the name of this Pokemon with five, but... Someone's already scored a goal, which isn't great, because I think it was the enemy team score. The game doesn't tell you... Oh, okay, so I, just, I got myself killed. <laughs> My bad. Wasn't paying attention. Um, the game doesn't tell you what the score is. I think that's good, because it, it, it kind of means like you're encouraged to play, like, play as hard as you can, regardless. Because if you think you're losing, you might give up. So, aside from the hints it gives you, it's pretty good. Oh, my mate Aothix is on. He might want to play later. He'll be excited to know that I'm going to do videos on this, I'm sure. So, Slowpoke has just evolved into Slowbro, and he's going to help us out in lane, which is great, because he's a tank, so I wouldn't mind it if he uh, defends me. Oh, something's restricted our vision. I don't remember which Pokemon does that, because I haven't played all of them yet. Oh, Snorlax is coming in too. So while we're in here, we have increased defense, and we can hold. So, we've got 45 out of 80. So each time people score points in there, that decreases that number. When that number's gone, our goal hoop is destroyed, and they can move up to the next one. So we've got three. We've got one at their base secondary one and then the one that we're at now the first one so the idea is to like push up to where your opponents have more trouble stopping you from scoring so i'm holding on to 10 points i've gone back here to retreat also you can pick up the fruit here they'll also heal you as well actually i might go down here where the cool fish have spawned and uh fight them get some more xp i need to get the charm million i'm definitely behind on xp right now thank you and now we've evolved so we are going to unlock fire punch for this run. So we're now on level 5 Charm Million. We have Fire Punch. We've upgraded our, uh, I think it was Flame Burst, whatever it was. Uh, so if you're hiding the grass, you're hidden as well. People can't see you. I'm going to score here, I think, because I can. Yep, just in time. But now I've got to run because I have the Gibble and the Camerant on my face. Slowbro is going to come in to support me, which is greatly appreciated. I'm going to cast Fire Spin here, do some area effect damage. Oh, we're weak, though. We shouldn't have pushed. We shouldn't have pushed. Go back here and heal. So you can return all the way to base to instantly get all your health back, but I prefer to just go here if I can, so I'm staying in lane. The Dreadnought has appeared on the minimap, so Dreadnought is a really powerful wild Pokemon, but if you defeat him, everybody on your team gets a shield. It's a good idea to go for it when you can, but it's probably a good idea to go there with the majority of your team, because he's pretty strong, and he can kill you. Oh, okay. This Gibble is going on. Actually, he's a Gabite now. He's going, on us, going in on us pretty hard. Slowbro is pretty tanky though, so you can see Slowbro's health, he's got like, um, he's got light blue in front of his health instead of all yellow. That's the staggered damage he takes, so if I was playing him, I would have been explaining to you how that works. Unfortunately, I can't play my main for the first video, so that's okay. Um, we'll get a chance to do Slowbro again at some point. If you guys want to see him, of course let me know. I'm just going to waste some time here burning this thing down. I probably should go back and heal, uh, so I'm going to go Fire Blast for this build. So Fire Blast and Fire Punch are going to be our final attacks. So Fire Punch is our engage, it lets us move in. Fire Blast is a high strength ranged attack. 
Why is my phone buzzing? Who would be texting me this time of night? Anyway, <laughs> need to keep moving up here. This Dreadnought's not happy. Oh no, okay, that's why I wasn't happy, because the enemy team's having to go at him. That's not good for us. Because um, the enemy team gets shields, it's going to be really easy for them to push on me. And I do not know... Oh, Slowbro's down there too. Where are you? Oh, there he is. I don't know what Slowbro is doing. So he's got his chosen Surf. That's good. It's a really good water attack. Pushes the enemy back. It's very good for zoning. I love using it. It's my personal favorite. Activate my potion again here. Get a bit of health here because they are pushing. And that Gabite will destroy me if I'm not careful. Unless we fight here by a goal, we can get some defense. Oh, that's a Slowbro. Go in on him. I'm going to try and Fire Blast him. Oh, he teleported. Oh, he's using your eject button, I think. No, wait, no. He's hiding. Where'd he go? I thought he used a eject button, but he definitely hid. Maybe he did use it? I'm not sure. We're still really weak. I think we are definitely underleveled, aren't we? So, while you're playing, you can't tell... You can't check everyone's levels. You can't check everyone's scores. Nothing like that. Nothing crazy. Um, which is cool, I suppose, because it means you can't, like... Because some people, when they play MOBAs, they get a little toxic. And they can be nasty to people that don't think are playing good. It's harder with this game to gauge what's going on, which makes it exciting. We just turned into Charizards. So that's pretty dope, actually. <laughs> I wasn't even paying attention. Level 9, we become the mighty fire dragon himself. I mean, yes, he's not a dragon type, but... And we've died. Also, now that we're at level... Uh, we're at level 9 or 10. When we hit level 10, I think, we unlock our ultimate, our unite move. Charizards 1 is his seismic toss, which is very, very cool. Yeah, level 9, we get it. Another thing you can do, too, is once the game's progressed a little bit, you can go from your base and you can super jump here. And you can get into lane much faster, which is really cool. Oh, there's an enemy down here. I saw him on the map. Talonflame's going in for him. Let me help, Talonflame! Okay, so friendly team is voting to surrender, which I'm not down for. Um, I was playing a game earlier, and they wanted to surrender, and three people voted to surrender. I ignored it. And uh, believe it or not, um, we got enough points, we turned around, and we actually won the game. We actually doubled their score. So... People seem to give up way too easy in MOBAs, and it's very disappointing, because we can still turn it around. We've been given no real indication that we're losing, though we have been... We have... I think we actually have lost one row of bases, so that's not great. That's for sure. But, we can still pull it back, we just have to group up. I'm hoping Friendly Team decides to group up with us, that'd be really awesome. It looks like they use the character models from uh, Pokemon Sword and Shield, which I don't mind, because they're really good models. I, I, I shouldn't have been there. Um, that was my fault. Once you're dead, you can actually use the right stick to look around too, so you can scan the whole map, see what's going on if you want to. Um, there is a way to do it when you're playing, but I don't do it because I don't allow myself to get too distracted, because the last time I looked around the map while I was playing, I got myself killed. <laughs> I shouldn't be going in on this guy. Um, that was a mistake. I... Mobas are really hard to play while talking and commentating, I'll tell you that much. Definitely a lot. It's a lot harder to do. Because, you know, I don't, it doesn't have 100% of my attention. It looks like this game is going to go a little poorly, though. Because, just by looking at um, the amount of times that I've died... You know, we're going to activate a Unite here. See if we can grab someone. Boom! Okay, well that's a good kill. It's been a while since I've got a solid kill off a Unite move like that. I feel pretty good. This Pikachu's ulting, though. We need to activate our potion. Try and stay alive. Why did I cast Fire Blast there? <laughs> He's a cool fish. Maybe we'll kill him and get some more points. We're holding on to 21 points now. It'd be really good if we could score this. Zapdos is going to be up in a minute. So Zapdos spawns at the top of the map here. He's a legendary bird Pokemon. And uh, if you kill him... I'm going to die. If you kill Zapdos, it'll weaken all of your opponent's bases. So basically, you won't have to channel to score. You just hit the button, score instantly. And I think you get double points as well. So you can really turn the game around. If you're an advantage... And you can score, go and take out the Zapdos, and then score, and you might actually catch up and even win the game. But uh, since we're so far behind and we haven't really scored much, Zapdos wouldn't really help us in this situation. Enemy team is in front, so that's why they're going to go for Zapdos. Because that'll just give them a stronger lead, because they can take it out bases. Unfortunately. Oh man, this game is not going well. I'm not sure exactly how to deal with that, because it looks like the majority of the enemy team are going to be pushing up bottom here. Especially this Garchomp, man. This Garchomp, he does a lot of damage. Uh, gotta be honest, I'm pretty weary of him. Now, the best thing we can do is try and stun them from scoring. For some reason, I wasn't able to stun him from doing that. We're gonna ult him, though. At the very least, we could try and get a kill on this Garchomp. So even though the game's not looking too good, um, we can at least set an example. I'm gonna quickly go into base. 
and we're really struggling. So the game gives you hints like that, but that's as far as it goes in terms of telling you whether you're winning or losing or not. Managed to secure a lot of points here off the enemy team like that. They went in, got really aggressive. We've only got 48, uh, 45 seconds left now, so not a lot of time to get points. I mean, if we went and sc if we went and scored now as quickly as possible, we could still close the game, but uh, we'd have to be pretty quick. Uh, Got to upgrade our fire blast here. The game automatically did it for me. Thanks, game. Now, if Slowbro and I score here, if we can, uh, that will definitely make a huge difference. But we got to do it like right now, though. But uh, this, uh, yeah, okay. That um, the camera ant was not letting us have that. Slowbro, I'd be very careful if I was you, buddy. Venusaur comes in to help Slowbro. That's going to be pretty good. Oh, three members of the friendly team are in there now. But the enemy team's coming though. They realize what we're up to. Three, two. One, and that is time. That's the end of the game. That definitely didn't go too well. We only scored 130. See, we got pretty... That was a pretty resenting defeat on my part. I played pretty terribly, though, but that's because that's this is the first time I've attempted to play the game while giving constructive commentary on uh, how the game plays. So defeating Pokemon, earning XP, leveling up your abilities, scoring, all that sort of stuff. It was a very basic overview I gave you of it. Um, you can go on YouTube and look at more detailed explanations of how the game plays. But compared to other MOBAs, it's really straightforward. So, um, if you ever were put off by the thought of games like League and Smite, and you thought they looked too complicated and that sort of thing, Pokemon Unite might be your thing, especially if you're a Pokemon fan. Even if you're not, really. It's just, it's really fun. Um, so when the game ends, of course, as you can see here, you get a basic overview of stats, so it shows how many points you scored, how many kills you got and how many assists you got um, and then you know it'll, it'll show you here as well you get like little medals icons showing you like if you were really tanky if you healed if you were defensive that kind of stuff I don't know what all the icons mean yet because the game doesn't really tell you and then you can either go battle again or main menu from here we're gonna go back to main menu and after you play the game you'll earn experience for your trainer and slowly you'll complete objectives so you've got daily missions and stuff um, shops is where you can buy cosmetics for your Pokemon and for your trainer and you can buy other items to equip and stuff like that so you can either buy them with real money or earn them for free in the game which is pretty cool uh, if you get the game on your switch the one thing that it also doesn't tell you is your friends list is not your Nintendo switch list because it is um, cross-platform with phones when it comes out you have your own ID so if you go to your trainer I show you a trainer card, it shows you your uh, trainer card right there. So that's mine, uh, the, the the code above my name, Phantom Man, so 190EMGR. So if you want to play Pokemon Unite and you want a friend to play it with, uh, feel free to send a friend request to me. All you have to do is on your main screen here, uh, you press the back button here, I think it is. Go online, no, it's not here, is it? No, you go, wait. I'm trying to remember, no, that's right, you go, you go X, you go down to friends here, right? And then you go request, you press plus, or well, somewhere here you go, or maybe you go friends, okay, you go to friend search, you go you go your back button down here, and then you, you put in the tag and search for them, so yeah, feel free to add me, and uh, we'll play some Unite together, and I can help you learn the game a little bit, I'm still learning myself, but i played a lot of MOBAs in the past, so I feel like I've got a bit of a leg up in that stuff, but yeah, it's really fun, I'm going to be enjoying it a lot more, and uh, I'm hoping to probably do videos for it on the channel as well, so... Let me know in the comments if you would like to see more of that. Uh, and also comment down below from the roster who'd like to see me try and learn to play. I'm definitely up for playing all of them at some point. So uh, requests are definitely uh, appreciated. <laughs> really fun. So let me know what you think of this game. And if, if you are playing it, you know, who's your main? What Pokemon do you like playing so far? And what Pokemon would you like to see in the game eventually? Like as DLC, like dream DLC Pokemon that you would love to play. And what character class do you think that'd be? I'd love to hear about that. Let's get a discussion in the comments. I'd love to hear what you guys think about this and uh, what you'd love to see in the future. And I feel like this game's got good potential. So let me know if you enjoyed this video and you want to see more of it by smacking that like button. Then share this video with your friends on your Discord, your Twitter, and your Facebook. Share this video around. Let everyone know this is a really cool free Pokemon game. It's well worth giving a try. It's something different and it's fun. And I love it. And I'm sure you will love it too. And if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. I will do more videos of Pokemon... Um, Pokemon Tournament as well, and uh, and Pokemon Unite, and at one point, at some point, I might do another Nuzlocke as well. I love doing Pokemon uh, stuff.
for this channel. So I'm going to do more of that. Hit that notification bell. That keeps you notified about all my uploads. There's two every weekday and one on the weekend. So there's 11 videos a week. A lot for you to watch and keep up with. Lots of different games. Heaps of variety. And uh, yeah, I'll definitely find room to put this in if that's what you guys want to see. So if you want to see that, again, you'll get notified about it when they go up. <laughs> so until the next time, guys, dodge that game over screen. I am Phantom 100 and I'm signing out for now.